Can you get some more time to put forward and type the bills everywhere? And thirdly, please switch off your phones. Thank you. And now, I'm going to introduce the IOU event hosted by Vivian Westwood, fashion designer and activist. Please welcome her on stage. Yeah, thank, thank, you. thank you for coming. Thanks a lot. Intellectuals Unite, we call it I-O-U. Not just I-U. We call it I-O-U because Intellectuals Unite is trying to do something positive in this dangerous time. Um, it's a book club and reading matters. Every time you put yourself in somebody else's shoes, fictionally, you gain perspective on the world that you live in. It's important to know the past. We are the past. In this age of stress and danger, it's an anchor and it gives you power. Power over your own life. You start to make good decisions and you have knowledge and knowledge is attractive to people. Your duty to your life is to understand the world you live in. If you're lucky, to have the opportunity, um, meaning you didn't get blown sky high when you were born. Seven billion don't know we face mass extinction from climate change. This is because of the corporate media. They only ever mention climate change as a separate issue Whereas everything is connected, it's what they don't say that matters. Therefore, what they do say is worthless because their opinion does not include the main point. They don't know what they're talking about. They think everything can get back to normal. It can't get back to normal. Normal, um, anyway, it's gone. <laughs> Scientists, listen, this is, this is what I'm talking about. Scientists predict only one billion people left by the end of this century. But the corporate media say we're going to have 11 billion because they're not looking at the facts. They're not looking at the main problem, that capitalism is the cause of climate change and it will never get better, it will just only get worse. Capitalism and climate change are two snakes that eat each other's tail. They cause well, the one serves the other. My slogan is protest capitalism. It's on the hem of this dress. This dress, this dress is from my new collection, but this big cross is, um, it's, it's the sign of the new economy. It's what we call a land cross. The four ones of the world are turning. It's like a swastika. A swastika originally is a land sign. You know, it's the world turning. And um, so these four ones point to the four corners as the world turns. And um, this, the economy that we propose is, we're calling it no man's land. And what it means is no one can own land. And when we say land, we're talking about airwaves, Therefore, we should as soon as possible start taxing the techn technocrats 
who, who um, have use of those free. And, um, it, and underground treasure and ocean, everything that nature gives us free. And nobody can actually own the land. They can be custodians of land and they can hand it on to their children if they practice, for example, farms, not factories, because then that's good for the land as, as we know it. Anyway, civilization started with war. We've never had an economy that wasn't a war economy. Wars are fought for land and slaves originally. Now we say they fought for land and cheap labor. This is how capitalism works. My slogan is protest capitalism because it's the one most important thing you need to know. Capitalism is the cause of all our problems. It still depends on fossil fuel and industrialism. The Industrial Revolution was a mistake. It's equal to the pollution. All industrial product is obsolete as soon as it's invented. Before it's invented, the next one's already obsolete. Capitalism must go and it doesn't even exist. It exists, but it has no value. It's a virtual economy based on debt creation and pressing buttons. It's actually cheaper to pay people not to work. Every penny you spend goes into the debt pool. All industrial product is sold at less than cost. It makes zero profit, 100% waste. The taxpayer pays the waste. The banks pay the profit to the few by printing dollars and by fake accounting. They pretend that debt is an asset, though it can never be paid back. All that lovely money we owed, we're owed, we're really rich. That's what their accounting is. It is actually worthless. Your paper money is worthless. And did you know that still in America, if you refuse to acknowledge a dollar, it's a capitalist punishment. We've all got to agree it's worth something. Then, it's, then, it, then it works. That's what it's all about. The US, US tax is 40 cents in the dollar for defense. Defense is the biggest polluter and the biggest earner. We call it war. They, everybody calls it defense. It then sells arms to Saudi Arabia to keep the oil flowing. This is how capitalism creates war. There's really no profit here either. But, for example, governments, through the banks and working with the banks, they pay arms dealers the profit. That's where the profit goes. It goes to the arms dealers. But I want you to know that every single prime minister or president in the world is anti-people. Now we're global, they're all as bad as each other. There isn't a good one left. They are the lowest common denominator of humanity. Boris Johnson has never knowingly done one good thing in his life, ever. <laughs> No kindness, no heart. Globalization means there's no opposition, they're all the same, yeah. We talk of autocracy in the case of China, but our rulers in the West are just as powerful because they do what they want. Even the ones who you think might have a heart, 
cause as much damage as the rest because everything done under capitalism causes harm and destruction. You can't have fair play. You can't have democracy unless you have fair distribution of wealth. You'll never get it. I want to talk about the International Energy Agency. We call them IEA. They're very, very important. They're an, an autonomous intergovernmental agency who advise government on how to manage global energy consumption. And they have a 10-point plan, and it's brilliant. And the first point is cut the speed limit of cars, um, car-free Sundays, cheap public transport, bicycles, and walking, and then work from home three days a week. It goes on. They're really good at all these points. Their proposal concerns the benefit of saving energy so that we're not so dependent on Russia or any other fossil fuel supplier. The most important thing to know is that this list would halt climate change by as much as all the cars in China. If the people in China stop driving, that's how much energy it would save if they made these limits on things. Now then, um, and so what we need as activists um, is we have to have government cooperation else and then there might be a chance to save ourselves. If we don't get co government cooperation and we get government confusion and they just only look after their own best interests, so stupid because they will die as well. The last rich man will die in a bunker, I tell you, anyway. So, I want to talk to you about the Vivian Foundation. I've just formed this as an umbrella organisation to manage and coordinate all of my campaigning to save the world. As you know, I've been working with NGOs for about 10 years to see if we can speak with one voice and lobby. That's what I want to do. Um, so my foundation has got four pillars. Halt climate change, stop war, defend human rights, freedom of speech, that's Julian, protest capitalism, change the economy to no man's land. We are working to fundraise within our new foundation in order to work with the NGOs, and that's what we've been doing. And um, also, I've designed a new collection, which is this dress I'm wearing, which is all about slogans, graphics, and save the world. That's what it's about. And um, so that, that's the back of it. And um, I've also, during COVID, done an art exhibition. I won't tell you what it's made out of. Orange peel, but anyway. <laughs> No, no, but it's, it's, it's quite amazing. And, and I want somehow to present these quite soon, certainly this year. I, need, I definitely will do the collection this year. Um, and um, this is all part of my campaign to raise awareness through an art exhibition and through a collection and also to um, raise money to save the world and we want to work with the NGOs in such a way that we can lobby government and make them listen to public opinion. Yeah, okay, all right, thank you.